Hey everyone, I'm Kelly Wallace. Welcome to iVillage 5, your don't miss list. Number one, walking it back. Was he too honest or misinterpreted? You be the judge. While touting his new movie about baseball, Brad Pitt talked about living, quote, pathetically in the past and said his marriage, yes, to Jennifer Aniston, had something to do with it. A day later, Brad said he regretted his comments, implied they were taken out of context, and said he was criticizing himself, not Jen, whom he called his friend. Hmm, how do you spell damage control? Number two, don't ask, don't tell is dead. There were celebrations nationwide as the longtime law banning gays in the military finally came to an end. A gay soldier got married as the repeal took effect. Another soldier came out of the closet live on YouTube telling his dad he was gay. You still love me? I still love you, Tom. One of those days we'll long remember as our country made it clear anyone willing to serve can, regardless of sexual orientation. Number three, is it a girl? We don't normally report rumors on iVillage 5, but this one seemed harmless and so fun to share. Beyonce's sister reportedly purchased special order pink Christian Louboutin booties. Maybe this is a ploy to fake us all out, but if the story is true and if Beyonce is having a girl, Here's some important advice for any parent trying to keep the gender secret. Tell no one. And now the iVillage 5 question of the week. Which Broadway turned TV star has called it quits with her boyfriend? The answer in seconds. Number four, finally married. Yes, it looks like The Hangover. And yes, it's George Clooney. And yes, he's married, but no, it's not real. It's an ad for Norway's biggest bank that has gone viral and might be the closest Clooney gets to the altar. Number five, the curse. Pippa Middleton causes a stir for wearing a green dress to a wedding. What's wrong with that? Turns out British superstition is that green curses the couple. Come on. We think just having the absolutely fabulous Pippa at that wedding was a blessing for the couple. How many others would love to have her attend their nuptials in green or not? And now the answer to the iVillage 5 question of the week. Leah Michelle of Glee fame, who has split from her longtime love, wonder what Rachel would have to say about that. That's all for this edition of iVillage 5, your don't miss list. I'm Kelly Wallace. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.